All right, so uh, this is uh, part 11 of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2 on the PlayStation 2. This is the HD collection, as, as you already know. Another beer getting opened up. Getting poured out. Listen. Oh, listen. You wish you had some of that right now. Oh, yeah. This is a delicious looking beer right now. This is a one of my favorites. It's called a, it's uh, by Sam Adams. As you, as of course you know, I'm from Massachusetts. It is, uh, so Sam Adams like my, one of my favorite beers. It's a Sam Adams Rebel IPA. Love the IPAs. Anyways, enough free advertising for them. I'm not getting paid to sponsor them or anything like that so don't even think about it so uh we got to make ourselves tracks across here so first thing we gotta do is put out some fire and this part is really annoying and tricky um so gotta go Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! all right and um there's two ways. We can either backflip across or crawl that way. I'm gonna try and do the flip. No, no good. Game over. Right, what's wrong? Land of the water, you're dead. Right. So, game over number one, you see it. Let's try again. There we go. I'm not even going to bother with the ration, because honestly, I'm not going to do it. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I can put out the fires this way. And look at that. We get an AK suppressor, which would have been really useful a while ago. Okay, 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 okay. What's up? Yeah, I already know this. And now we got an AK suppressor, so if we do this and get our AK out, boom, suppressed. Not that I ever plan on using it, but you never know. Climb up, riding. Run, run, run. Okay, phew. Now this is kind of tricky. You gotta line up so that you land properly. Oh great! We got a couple guards coming out. This is not a pretty sight. No, it's not. Hurry up and check the situation. There we go. And if we hug the wall, we can shimmy across, or scamper across, or... And now we can shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shake! I don't know. I'm being dumb. What else is new for my Let's Plays? And up. And up the ladder. Strut L Perimeter. All right. We've got to crawl. We got to crawl. Except for there. We got a shimmy. Because this is safer than crawling. Oh, shit. Oh, this will be fun. 
This will be fun. Is that how you do this? He's got a rather large cod, cod piece, doesn't he? Oh shit. Oh, what? I'm going to go in my pants. Oh fuck. Nobody's looking right. Got peed on. <laughs> That's disgusting. All right, so now we got to flip off the edge. All right, phew. All right, I think. Um, yeah. I hear that too. It's a bunch of them. Alright, let's get these out. Oh, done. Come on. There's one. Come on. Come on, men! all of them? Yes. Okay. Phew. Chaff. Ah, it's locked. What's over here? Anything? Locked. SOCOM bullets. If you're good. Alright, so... Oh! I did not mean to do that. <laughs> right. Are you all right? Answer me. Right. The, the joy of a wonky camera. <laughs> Try this again. At least our life is now at full. So you've got to see me die twice now in this section. This section always gets me. Camera sucks. Raiden's flipping sucks. These things suck. Just about everything about this section sucks. Chaff. It's PSG when we got it. So calm, you got it. Anything at all, you got it. There we go. Now we flip this side. No, that way. Come on, right, get with the program. I don't know how falling into the water kills him, but it somehow does. All right, we made it to the to the core. The core. Oh. Olga, Snake is here. Olga. It's Don't get caught, Raiden. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will set it the ocean right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is Ocelot? Not here. Mm. I don't trust him. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cam-off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut L. 
I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. The intruder? Snake. I am the intruder. What about the other man? Besides, certainly. He survived that explosion. Listen, Olga, the code confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I will try. I know. No one gets in here. Mm. Turn the currents on. Of course. No one but Raiden will get in. He will have an RC missile. High voltage currents on. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. Russia. I want half the I love money her for voice. That. Her voice is awesome. Of course. That was part of the agreement. Like I said before, women we with start Russian living accents. for ourselves after this. If there's women with Russian accents. Them, just awesome. To take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. Yes. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. Yes. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again, one last time. Don't try anything on us. Ooh. The feeling is mutual. Nice. Some nice play going on here. Oh, time for a code call. Always. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. No. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Oh, come on. Everyone loves bacon. Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. Bingo. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. You just gotta hope right. they're leaving one but lying make around. Make sure you by don't hit the president. Yes, please do not. The president is wired with nano machines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. I'll log into the nerd. Okay. So, can't get that way because that floor is electrified. Nothing down there. Let's get the nerd. We need the Nikita first. So, calm bullets. Nine bullets. Crash. There's a camera in here. A couple of them in fact. We can disable them. Right click. Just like such. Oh, that's an, all that is is Nikita ammo. We need the Nikita. See, you have the president's life gauge up there. Prez. Must be short for president. Alright, we've activated the nerd. The nerd. <laughs> So where do we get a Nikita? Hmm. Guess we've got to go down. This thing sure takes its time. Thank you. At least there's only one floor. Filtration chamber. 
hope it's not flooded or anything. I really don't want to go for a swim. Let's activate this nerd. Alright, so we've activated the nerd. Okay. What's with his hair? Oh, uh, here we go. I'm stuck underwater and I get a codec call. Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what oh, I can see. You'll have to swim through. Uh, swimming isn't my strong point. It wasn't a part of the VR training either. Stroke the water and move forward by Stroke pushing the punch the water? button. Oh, Push it in rapid succession to swim I see faster. Where this is going. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. All right. Let's go for a swim. So, this is one section of the game I'm really not fond of. Gotta get some air. This door don't work. So down, brings you down, up, pushes you up. And spin around inside. We've gotta find Nikita. While watching out for the mines. Don't wanna hit any Mayans. If you hit a Mayan, you're dosed. Alright, we got Nikita. You have the remote controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry! Sounds good to me, Colonel. Let's get some air, though. How about it? Hey, Ryden. Yeah, air's good. I hate water sections in games like this. To me, this is just so unnecessary. It's so... I don't know. I don't know. It's just something about it. Very annoying, I guess, is the best way to put it. It's not like Metal Gear Solid 1, where you can like hit the button a couple times and the elevator automatically appears. Alright, back to the purification. Alright, let's get some Nikita ammo. We're gonna have some fun with the president here in a sec. Alright, let's get our Nikita ready. Don't, don't you fret none, Mr. Prez. It's just me not being able to control my Nikita rockets. Watch out! What are you doing? Watch out! What, what, what is that? That's me getting rid of the electrical charge so I can come and save you. Sorry, behind. That was easy. 
All right, let's meet. Let's meet up with the Perez. President Johnson. So you're finally here. You've been expecting me. I have. Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. Huh? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you betrayal? Hmm. What the? You're a man? Uh, hmm. yeah. Well, who are you? Kind of a man, yeah. Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. Foxhound? <laughs> Thought they were just bent. Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, Mr. President. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. A nuclear That's correct. Strike. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. Ah. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. Betrayed? I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. Huh? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The, the Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Huh? Very few are aware of their existence, even well, among those with cold time. word clearance. <laughs> no one knew about Politics, the Patriots. The, military, they hadn't won anything. the economy. Actually, no. They when this game came all. out, the Patriots they even already choose who becomes before. president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. Oh. Hmm. Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. No, that's wasn't. what the patriots want the country to it's believe. La it's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not just sanity legally that worries sane. me. How is one deemed legally the sane? The Patriots. The New Even England I Patriots. The I mean, the Lale Lule Lo. Are they financial, political, or military? Sorry, I'm a big Patriots fan, so I just love that they keep no talking about No one knows Patriots. who the Patriots really are. The Patriots. Even my instructions come from a cutout. It's not really the Patriots. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men. The Lale Lule Lo. The Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Yes. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. Tis it is. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. Someday, when you're older. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. Well, yeah. And Who doesn't that want justifies to acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, uh -oh. even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Oh. Can you imagine what would happen Sounds like if a they big ceased conspiracy. to function? 
Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So well, yeah, because, because if, if because they don't, then, to avoid then the global chaos. football fans in New England exactly. will have no football team to cheer for. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. Oh, that's and who is this Solidus? The leader of Dead Set. My predecessor, George, George Sears. Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Alphonse Terrible project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. And four years ago, Shadow Moses. That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential... Donald players, Anderson! Initiated the development also known as SIGINT! And an For those of you paying attention! However, this did not fall in line with the oh Patriots' God, plans. What more Solid has decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Asala, to provoke Liquid Ocelot. Snake bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data the on the dummy, no clamp, they are Rex. So, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army. Oh, a that blunder was a big that earned mistake. him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. Oh, he was forced to impeach. He was like Bill Clinton. I thought Although he Clinton. Designed. That's the story Didn't resign given to or anything. the general public. More like Nixon. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn. The, the Patriots. Patriots. But that would mean that the presidential race oh, was... Oh, that was quite a show, wasn't it? It was, it was all a the rage the drama about the, by the Patriots. Patriots. The benefit of the public. Get your tinfoil Even hats ready, ladies and gentlemen. Dancing to the Patriots tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one... This is what really happens following with his politics. Solidus health was scheduled to fail, very bringing about his untimely right death. Capt, you can Correct. hear me, but, but before barely the over the dialogue. To execute their plot, Possibly. Solidus went underground with the help of Asa. As cookie. he avoided pursuit, <laughs> Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Dead Colonel Cell. Galukovich's outfit. Not From Galukovich. There, he his time, knowing that his Our country is going to hell in a handbasket. The completion of the new I think we need to kill this president. An opportunity Possibly. His odds against the Patriots. Maybe. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, what he Metal Gear Rex? Them in a very uncomfortable position. Rather, Metal Gear it's Ray. The chance he has for survival. Once he has the That's all we need is survival. War against the Patriots. Needless to the say, Patriots. Metal Gear is Must already be operational. Stopped. No, not yet. I'm talking very What you saw though, was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not listening. the new Metal Gear. The new Metal Gear. I'm, the the new Metal Gear. Right. I'm just very silly at the what? moment. You're standing in yes, to be more the big cell is the new Metal Gear ride. Facility is the new Metal Gear. Believe it or not. No, I'm quite serious. Put on your tinfoil hat, my friend. The scene is camouflage. Designed to represent an offshore very cleverly system. designed. The main structure extends from designed the that way on purpose. All the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Is anyone even paying attention to this? That's the or are they paying attention for the new to my craziness? Gear. I don't know. Arsenal gear. Arsenal, we're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, 
giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, absolute not to mention our control. nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. Core? Cool. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. no. You're not seeing no, no, the full no, picture. Huh? Arsenal gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible basically to controlling the truth everything. for their own purposes. In short, the context system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be GW. fully operational when GW As in is George successfully Washington? integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them, so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks, but Solidus preferred rebellion. Ew. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen. There isn't much time. The football. The football served as the key football. for activating Arsenal gear. Told you this was about I've already the already with the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems, and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the e -E. only one who can stop that thing once it's e -E. been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. Well, I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Oh boy. Cut transmission and get moving. We've got to swim. Unfortunately. More this underwater section. Four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Awesome. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal. Why are you doing Take this? Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after Fox. Frankenstein. A biological Die! weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. Now you must kill me. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Now, kill me. What? What the? Why do you want me to kill There's you, no Mr. President? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! I'm not going to kill you! That's your role. It is not my role. But that wasn't my bullet. That's amusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Awesome. A lot. Ex-president. The president. Why did you Alas, my finger must have slipped. Oh, what an ass. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Ocelot, you are the him. man. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. The Rebel Alliance is too well equipped. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. 
Okay. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order. As your commander in chief, I'm counting on you. <sighs> now go. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Damn it. Alright. President's dead. He's got anything on him? Hey. You okay? No. Okay. Well, I guess he's dead. So I guess we might as well just get out of here. Nothing else for us in here. Oh, of course we gotta make a codec call, though. Colonel, the president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. Yep. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. Okay. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Whatever Do you actually said. think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? No. I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? Da -da -da. All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Da -da -da. Thanks to his sacrifice. The Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Yay. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate uh, the threat. Yeah. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. Hurry, it's up Jack. to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. In vain. Raiden out. Oh, gotta contact somebody else now, too. Pliskin. Snake. What's your status, Raiden? Snake, the president, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. That's good. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. No, they had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Ooh. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about it? You didn't ask. You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? Yeah. You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the president and Ames described, a massive cover story. <laughs> the good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, yeah. so we won't have to worry about any worry toxic about gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago, what really happened here? You'll find out soon enough. I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. Yeah. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. Metal at least that Gear. was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. No kidding. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Metal Gear? Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Gain control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. 
Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? Yep. I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. For the Patriots. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. A lure? Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. Ah, oh, fuck. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. Oh boy. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Why not? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero. So they decided to do a This is all campaign. like cut footage from the game. I, I think, think the Patriots wanted to make an example I love of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it. They set all it this adds up just to, to like, nail you guys. The aspect that no, the tanker incident that. that you play at the beginning is really the The Marines uh, Metal Gear Ray project headed by Commander simulation? Dolph was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it. Then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal Gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, Ooh. keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. Da, da, le, lu, le, that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Oh, we're doomed. Ryden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich... My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. All right. Let's go. Maybe. We are running out of time, though. Do -do 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 -do. Anything down here? No. Anything in here? No. Alright. Let's activate said elevator. Come on. Let's go down. Shell 2 core B1 filtration. Okay, so we're gonna save here. No. 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 That's who I want. Rose. Damn. Jack, is that you? Uh, no, it's your boyfriend. Uh, Jack. So we're gonna save here. Jack. 
Jack. What is it? I've always been alone. Huh? Stop with the freaking I'm so soap lonely. opera! Lonely? Rose, we've always... Not always. What do you mean? You've never slept beside me. What are you talking about? <sighs> I... After we've been together in my room, I've you stay awake you a lot, all night, Rose. or you head for the door. Is this really the time to bring this up? Why, Jack? Why? Listen, Rose, I'm right in the middle of a mission, and I... Why? Why can't you relax when you're with me? Look, the mission, I... Why don't you open up to me? Rose, I, I just can't. All I ever wanted was to share your dreams, to spend a meaningful evening with you. I just wanted to find you by my side when I woke up. Is that asking too much? It's the night. I'm scared of the night. It's got nothing to do with you. Scared of the night? What's that supposed to mean? I can't relax when I'm with someone. Jack, you wouldn't even let me in your room. I need privacy. Because my room is crazy. I just can't be bothered. Bothered? I'm fucked up. Wrong word. What I wanted to say was that there are certain things that I have to keep to myself. Do you remember that time I forced my way into your room? We'd known each other for almost a year, and you blew up. Yeah, I did because it was the like, first you time you ever raised your like, hand against me. myself. I was so worried about you. Look, I'm sorry. Stop. It wasn't your violent nature that scared me. It was your room, your heart. Stop it. There wasn't anything in your room. Only a bed and a small desk. It looked like a prison cell. Because it is a prison cell. Rose? No television set. No family pictures. Not even a poster. Rose, I only use that room for sleeping. A lifeless room. Almost like your empty heart. What a That's thing to why say I tried to, your to keep you out. I thought I was beginning to understand you. Until I saw that room. Would you have been happier if I had a picture of you hanging on the wall? That's not what I was trying to say. Enough, Rose. We'll talk about this later. Uh, after the mission. Damn right. it, Rose. Just after shut up. After the mission. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Such a bother. Crazy frickin' soap opera. Anyway. Now that that soap opera's over with. She's done talking about his room and... He doesn't want to sleep with her. Well, sleep beside her. I'm sure he's slept with her many a times. Um, I would like to say thank you for watching this part of my Let's Play of uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. And uh, I hope you stay tuned for the next section. We're going to meet. Uh, we're going to have a nice little fight with Vamp. That's coming up. And uh, we're going to meet up with uh, Emma Emmerich. And uh, I think Rose might actually start getting jealous of a teenage girl. Yeah. Let's see her deal with that. A teenage girl. She's worried about a grown man with a teenage girl who's, like, probably 16, 17. I don't know. Um, but she gets worried about it. And uh, anyways... Uh, there's nothing going on right now on your screen. And so it's just black and you're listening to me. If you're still listening, uh, I appreciate you watching. And uh, I'm talking really close into the mic now. So it's just for your ears only. And uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And as always, keep on gaming. Keep on gaming, everybody.